What's good, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. Um, we are talking today about my Tradescantia collection. Um, basically, I feel like I found the secret to these guys. Really, they hate letting their soil dry out too much. Um, they can handle it, but they don't like it. My Triscantia Zebrina. This is one that you might have seen in one of my more recent hauls. Oh, there comes Jane to knock over the. Uh, <clears throat> she's standing right next to the mic, so I hope she didn't ruin any audio there. Um, this Triscantia Zebrina is a replacement for the first one I had, which. I found on the streets on my way to work one day. Um, <clears throat> wow, talking is giving me a headache. <laughs> um, this might be a very short video. <clears throat> um, yeah, so this Tradescantia Sabrina lives right next to my humidifier and the grow light, or right underneath the grow light, which is right above the humidifier. Maybe not my brightest moment, In turn, she's been very needy while I've been home. Um, having the grow light right above the humidifier might not be my brightest moment, but we tried. We tried. And I've been trying to A, prevent it from getting underwatered, and B, overwatered. <laughs> Um, it's a little leggy, which is surprising since it's so close to the grow light right now, but I'm thinking of getting a different bulb for that grow light anyway, because I got the one that's for flowers and fruit or whatever, and I want to do the one that's for foliage because obviously that is my more important desire is to have pretty leaves, not flowers. Wow. <clears throat> getting a little lightheaded. Anyway, um, I have this Tradescantia. Tradescantia. <laughs> Tradescantia fluminensis, aka green Tradescantia, which I would assume you might recognize from my video a couple days ago when I first found out that I have the vid again. Second time, did I mention? <clears throat> I'm really stuffed up. <clears throat> I'm very glad that my boss was able to give me the days off because if I'm getting lightheaded just talking to a phone, <laughs> nicht geht, nicht geht, um, nicht sehr gut. Aber <clears throat> stop speaking in German. You don't speak German that well. Anyway, I just potted this up. Um, into soil from a water prop that I, I found this again on the street. Um, I found this on the street and plopped it in water and promptly forgot about it. And then a few days ago when I did my repotting, I put it, it's mostly direct to soil propagations in here because I chopped, it was very long. It, I chopped it all up um, and plopped it in here and there's a f two or three pieces that already have water roots but um, really with these guys you don't need water roots to put it in soil um, they do pretty well in almost every medium too I just prefer soil because that's how I grow my plants um, this is one of the few Tradescantia I have, of the few Tradescantia that I have, I really only have five different ones at the moment, which is kind of depressing. I had more, but somebody decided to eat them. Well, one of them. I think I killed the others. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm not the best at Tradescantia care, but I do my best. Um, I don't know what this one is called, but it has 
um, little white stripes all through the light green. It's very pretty. Um, I'm surprised Jane's not trying to play with these at the moment. Uh, yeah. This one lives on top of my humidifier, actually. Um, a little bit closer to the light, so it would hopefully grow a little bit happier, but so far, nada. Not a whole lot's happened there. Um, this, this is what Jane's going to be interested in. This guy um, actually had a complete chop back a few months ago um, and I have a bunch of cuttings that I need to propagate well that I have propagated that need to be potted up um, I'll show you those in a minute this guy which you can see Jane is super interested in for some reason not the other ones but this one I think maybe just because it's dangly instead of pointing kind of out or up um, Murphy decided to help mommy prune this one day um, and then luckily these are pet safe except it's kind of like regular grass where if they eat it they throw it up fun no absolutely not ma'am you will get kicked out of the lap there we go anyway so these things um, really unfortunate that the cats really like them because mommy really likes them too uh, <clears throat> I have to make sure I'm very careful about keeping them keeping them out of harm's way um, I'll just let the sirens go by My friends brought me this Pedialyte Advanced Care designed for fast, effective rehydration because they brought me like a little care package when they found out I had COVID again. And um, these are probably the only reason I don't feel like absolute garbage right now. Uh, <clears throat> Strawberry Freeze is literally, it's delicious. I haven't tried any other flavors. But yeah, oh my god, these taste amazing. My very last potted up Tratoscantia is this gorgeous little baby bunny belly, which I love because it has the purple on the backs of the leaves, which I'm sure you can't see from there. Um, I will insert a close up for you. Um, now, my biggest problem with Tratoscantia is that they have teeny 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 tiny weeny little root systems um, and they just if you if you bend a stem too hard it's gonna just snap snap right off um, but the good news is I can show you here they propagate like crazy um, these are pieces of this green one that I showed you that Murphy helped me with. Um, they have so many roots. It's insane. Um, and they've grown so much since being in these propagation boxes. Um, I have a lot of pieces too. I really need to pot these up. Um, look at my little string of hearts. My variegated string of hearts, guys. They're so cute. So Tratoscantia, they propagate really well in pretty much any medium. So do Fetonia. <laughs> so cute. Look at all those roots. I'm like, I, I don't know why I'm squinting. It's not going to help you see it. Um, <laughs> I'm just that big of a dork, okay? Leave me alone. Um, but yeah, so... Tratoscantia are super duper easy to propagate. Um, they're also super easy to kill because you have to really be on top of watering them because of how, I mean, they are semi-succulent plants. Their leaves and stems do 
hold on to some water, but like I said, the leaves, they just don't have that same, uh, the roots, I mean, the roots just aren't like an anthurium or aeroid root. They just, they don't store water like that. They can last a couple days long enough to propagate themselves somewhere else, but Jamie, you're going to fall off my lap, you doofus. Um, I thought I had more Tradescantia in here, but I don't. Um, just a bunch of Hoya and ZZs that I don't even really care about. Although my little neon po neon lemon lime philodendron, that's what it's called. My lemon lime philodendrons are making cute little baby leases. Need to pot you up soon too. Uh, anyway. Yes. So like most tropical plants, Tradescantia love to stay kind of warm they love humidity they can deal with low light but again they are going to get stretched out like this whereas you really want them to have less legginess like this guy soil i'd say keep it well draining but also water retentive wow oh it's anyway um and really just don't do this. That's so dangerous. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a mean mommy. You can't play with mommies. Try to scan to Ow, stop biting me. Boop. Ant. Anyway. I'm out of breath and lightheaded. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to cut this one short. This has been Alex and Jane. And we thank you for watching. Bye, bye, bye. Okay, we done? Good job.